Hey guys, Sean here. Figured it'd be a nice day for a little time in the bush. A little dirt time, everybody needs that, huh? But, turns out there's still snow up here. <laughs> Everything's wet and damp, and it's a little chilly. There's a big burl on that tree, I should hawk that thing. It's on a piece of birch, too. Yeah, it could be pretty. We'll see. So I'm about halfway to my destination. Figured it'd be a good time to stop and grab a bite to eat. We're having some uh, mountain house beef stew and some cappuccino. Out of one of my MREs. <laughs> Natural and artificially flavored. <laughs> Alright. So. You got the Blue Hill set up with the uh, Coleman Max. What a great little set, guys. I really like it. It's basically uh, big enough for two people. And of course, you know, you got your inner pot. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to head. Well, maybe I shouldn't disclose this, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, my AO is. Uh, what I've picked off uh, Google Maps is uh, basically two points that way and over two hills. Uh, I'm thinking about going right through there. We'll head directly west. And then we'll head uh, northwest. We'll see what happens. Oh, it's a little chilly. Sunny though, so that's good. Let's see here, what else can I show you? Well, here's some of the uh, tools I brought along with. Got my uh, Mora HD from Chris over at uh, Four Directions. And I'm telling you, uh, Mora must have listened because the, uh, the retention in the sheath is a lot better. Flatten the spine on this one already, but. Next is to uh, pimp out the sheath a little bit. Kind of like my Baco that everyone has seen. This has been a phenomenal knife as well. Except the sheath sucks. <laughs> so, and of course, we got my hatchet, my Laplander. Mm. Brought the Glock out. Maybe I'll get some target practice today. See what happens. But uh, I'm having trouble staying on target after uh, shots fired. So you've got uh, static mass and uh, your uh, recoil mass, which would be the slide. So I'm considering some modifications to it. I think what we'll do with the slide is we're going to pop some holes in the top to help lighten it up. Maybe have... Let's get it in the sun here. Maybe have some machining done. Like that up front. Have them go around the Glock and the 17 Gen 4, etc. And uh, I might have it machined out to put an RMR on there. And then also, we'll get some uh, suppressor sights for it. We'll see. Should be pretty cool. I'd like to get a different barrel for it as well. Something with a threaded end or... I don't know. We'll see. But, it's been a good gun. No complaints whatsoever. Yeah, what else do I got up there? Oh yeah. Brought out my Mora chisel knife. This thing's phenomenal, guys. My son got me this for uh, Father's Day last year, and this thing is, I just love it. Very useful. I don't know, maybe I'll make a knife like this at some point. We'll see. Yep. 
Yeah, I brought out my big bag of cordage. I was going to go through that today, but we'll see what happens. So, all right, guys, I think I'm going to let you go. Enjoy my uh, my lunch here. I'm sure that beef stew's done by now. It's been sitting about 10 minutes. And my cappuccino's probably cold by now. Let's see. Nope, just right. You know, I can honestly say the taste on that's uh, not too bad, considering it's out of an MRE. But all right, guys, I'll show you some beautiful scenery here. And I'm gonna head out. So, you know, there's some really good fishing in this lake. Every single one of these bays, there there back around that point this bay back there around that point back over there it's awesome bluegill fishing early in the spring when they come in and spawn you can usually get them in well in the spring anywhere from a, a foot to three feet of water and then uh, later on in the season they usually run about six to eight feet deep here so all right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.